Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, it's Thanksgiving week. Actually, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Uh, my poor wife. I guess I'm going to go home and help her cook stuff tonight. Um, so this morning, I uh, I had this little ritual, ritual I go through where I, I check the network and look for any links that might be down. And this morning, I noticed one that was down. Uh, let's see if I can point this out. Let's see, it's gonna be right there. That switch right there. That one was uh, showing as down. So okay, I look at it and sure enough, the link is down all the way back to the core switch. So what I'll normally do is I'll log into the core switch and check uh, port for link flapping. And I have a command that I type that uh, shows me all the ports that are down due to uh, link flap. And there were none down. Like, hmm. And I look, so I look at the uh, port that's connected to this switch on the core, and it shows it's down. So I thought, well, you know, maybe this guy is bad. So I replaced the. Uh, oh, it's upside down. There. So I replaced this on the on the core switch. Had no effect. Took the the uh, fiber out of the end and held my camera up to it and looked for a purple light. You can uh, that's a little trick if you don't know that. Um, you OG guys probably do, but uh, if you're just getting into network adminning, um, you can use your camera's phone. I know it works on Android. That's what I film on. I don't know about iPhones. Uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Um, but when this GPIC is plugged in and you point your camera at it, you can see a little purple light on one side. So I saw it on that end. Okay, and then I pulled the cable off and I could see a purple light coming out of the fiber. Hmm, okay. Maybe we've got a bad uh, SFP plus. I call them GBICs still. Maybe we've got a bad one of these uh, out here at this, this uh, network closet. So I walk all the way out to the network closet. And uh, let me scroll up here on my uh, on my uh, putty, so you can see what I saw when I got here. So when I got here, I checked it. And uh, let me zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So port 351 was ready, which basically in Cisco talk means down. A is active, which in Cisco talk means up. So basically had up down on this port. Um, so like, okay, let's, let's see what we got here. So it's so not seen it on the core side, not seen it on this side. Let me uh, take the fiber off and uh, check for purple light. So it's got my laptop, I've got it plugged in. Let's follow that network cable. And it goes all the way, you can't even see it now. It goes all the way over to here. So here's where the uh, switches are, and uh, I'll just get my short man's friend out of the way there. And the port in question was this guy on the top, this top one. So I go ahead and pull the fiber off to uh, check and look for light, you know, because you can use that same same camera trick to look at the end of the fiber and look at the end of the GBIC. And as I was tugging on it to pull it off, link light came on and has stayed on. So we probably have kind of a flaky fiber here or else somebody, because engineering works in this closet too, somebody might have bumped it and jammed it in there to make sure that it wasn't loose. And uh, I found that with these particular types of patch cables, they're the push on, push off type. You, you plug them in and then to, to pull them out, you kind of push in and then pull out and they, they come off. I, I don't really like these. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble with these. Um, I, I wish I had just stuck with uh, this regular old, uh, what are these? ST? I don't know. I'm really not a fiber guy. Anyway, I wish we had stuck with these because I think the, uh, the fiber aperture at the end is a little, little more diameter to it. Um, I think these guys 
Uh, the fibers are thinner and probably more efficient. They're probably better, but they don't work well with our SFPs pluses on our uh, switches. So I found that you have to have them positioned just ever so to keep the link up. So uh, yeah, I know the obvious solution is we'll replace them all. Yeah, I work for a county and basically uh, that's not going to happen. So yeah. Anyway, so and of course it had to be my, my farthest away uh, wiring closet from where I sit. So this is uh, there's a large freeway that fronts our hospital and this is the closest network closet to that freeway. It's way out on the edge of the hospital building and uh, I work way on the other side of the campus so it was a brisk chilly walk but the bright side is um, I had to walk right past the coffee shop so mm. Caramel latte got me going. So anyway, after I um, saw the link light come up, and I thought, oh, okay, let's double check. And uh, sure enough, now if you look, there all the we've got four four members of this. Uh, it's we call it an LACP or a shared port in Exos, but um, you'd call it like a trunk in Cisco, I guess. So all four members of that shared port uh, came up and uh, they've stayed up. I can see it's a problem child because if you look, the, this last number is uh, link up transitions, there's 122. So uh, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to zero that number out. Um, and then I am going to uh, keep my eye on it. So let's see if we can... Uh, might have to replace that fiber patch if that happens and see if that does it. Um, and another thing I've noticed, another one of my big problems with fiber, and these are these are all self-inflicted, is um, now my boss, I love her, she's a wonderful person. She likes things neat and tidy. So when she does this kind of cabling, she'll bend that fiber over and, and, and uh, put uh, Velcro around it and make everything look neat, neat and tidy but they don't like tight radiuses. Fiber doesn't like a tight radius bend, it, it, it doesn't. And uh, there are some places where she's wrapped the fiber down and around and bundled them all together because the fiber was too long. And uh, mm, no, no, bad. And that was kind of, that was done here as well. And you can see all the Velcro that I've taken off to uh, get rid of those tight radiuses, so. When you're working with fiber, remember gentle radiuses, you know, fiber doesn't like to bend too much. So anyway, that was, uh, that was t today's adventure pretty much. And I'm, I'm glad that's all it is. So let's take one more look. Let me, uh, get around here. I'm going to hide this guy and I'm going to blow this back up to everything on the network. And, uh, that's a good day. Everything is green. I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, and there you go. That's what my network looks like, if you've never seen it. Um, and before you ask, I've already said this in several videos, uh, this, this software is called Intermapper. It'll run on Mac, Linux, uh, Windows. My laptop is currently running Linux at the moment, Linux Mint, my particular flavor of choice and uh, it'll do a boot into Windows but I, I like running it under Linux for some reason I don't know why I just I just I I like the way my my Linux desktop looks I mean I like the the panels and I just I just like it I don't know I like Linux what can I say but I'm not a Linux expert so don't ask me questions about it so anyway so yeah, this this is it for me this week. Um, today is Wednesday as I'm filming this. It'll be Sunday when you see it. Um, but uh, yeah, today is the end of the week for me, so not a whole lot else going on, I hope and pray. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the United States, and uh, it's a holiday set aside to just uh, to be thankful for God for providing all our needs for the, the people at the time. 
they were thankful to the uh, the indigenous peoples uh, for helping them survive through the winter, teaching them how to plant food the right way in, in a way that it would grow and, and be bountiful. And, uh, and pilgrims and the Indians got along fairly good, but after that, things kind of went to hell. So, and uh, it's not the Indians' fault either, American Indians. So that's all I got for this week. Um, oh yeah where was i going with all that thanksgiving no matter where you are in the world don't forget to be thankful for everything you've got um you you may be wanting you may be wanting for money you may be wanting for companionship or food or you know um, although you're watching this on a computer so you're probably not that poor i hope but um be thankful for what you do have there's a lot of stuff i'd like and i don't have but I am thankful for what God has given me. And the most important thing he's given all of us is uh, Jesus Christ. So if you haven't yet, take an opportunity to uh, try to get to uh, ask Jesus into your heart. Try to learn about him. And uh, yeah, he is the way. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you uh, liked what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, click the thumb up, thumb down button, either one. You can not like the video. I don't care. I do this just, just to let people that are just learning know what they can expect. Um, and if, if people like the videos, that's great. And if they don't, that's fine. I'll keep making them either way. So don't worry about that. So any, un, anyway, enough rambling. Uh, God bless everybody uh, this week. And uh, if you're in the U.S. here, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, there you are.